Well, let's talk about unit operations. And first things first, what's a unit operation is nothing more than anything that operates a change in a unit. So for instance, unit operation could be as simple as a T joining one pipe and second pipe to one pipe. So technically speaking, this is a mixer. It's performing an action. It's mixing. So the composition right here is changing and maybe even the temperature and pressure. So for that, then it's a unit operation. Actually, even a pipe is a unit operation because there is a drop in pressure. There's generation of friction. So friction increases heat, which, well, produces heat, which increases the temperature. So by definition, it's also a unit operation. So also reactors are unit operations because they are reacting, they are changing. Destillation columns, of course, because they are separating. A flash is also a unit. And yes, even a valve because it's a unit that is decreasing flow rate or even in decreasing pressure, promoting pr pressure drop. So the most common ones that we are going to analyze in Aspen are mixers or splitters, separators, exchangers, columns, reactors, and of course, pressure changers. So these guys right here are of course interesting if you know how to use them. But in this course, we are not going to include them. Now I decided to divide these in four sections, momentum, heat, mass, transfers and kinetic reactions. So mainly momentum implies uh, mixing, splitting, uh, pressure changes, drops, uh, pumping, compressors, etc. Heating is essentially exchangers, temperature heater, cooler, condenser, evaporator, and so on. Kinetics, of course, only reactors. By definition, anything that reacts something is a reactor. And finally, mass operation, which are either separators, which are a little bit more, let's say, they are simpler, and columns, which are way much complicated. But those are the four uh, sections I want to show you right now. So instead of showing you, uh, I'd rather add the help button, help data sheet. So it's right here. Mixer, this is the type I was talking to you. The model, because one thing is the type, but the model is what is important. So stream splitter, stream mixer, substream splitter. So you can keep reading separators. There are two flashes, three flashes, which mean two outlets, three outlets, and so on. Heat exchanger, you have heater, which is heater or cooler. Yeah, columns, I love rat frac, so that's rigorous distillation, including aspirin rate-based distillation. Uh, reactors, which we are going to see stoichiometry and georeactors. And finally, in this course included, is pressure changers, which are compressors, pumps, multiple compressors, multi-stage compression, pipeline, pipes, valves, all these, well, you don't need to see them. We are not going to uh, analyze them in this course. So where can you find those? Well, first things first, go to the simulation environment and then go to the model palette. When you're in the model palette, you will be able to see the sections right here. These are the ones that we are studying and these are the ones that we are not going to use in this course. This is more for advanced courses. And once you click once, for instance, reactor, you will show all the models you can use. And that's what I wanted to show you about unit operations.